few more examples of solving linear equations. On well, this problem right here, we'll need to add 5 to both sides. So let me put a plus 5 on this side and a plus 5 on this side of the equation. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. When I do that, I'll get uh, that 2x equals 12 because the minus 5 plus 5 add to 0 and 7 plus 5 is 12 then your next step is divide by the 2 because right here the operation that's going on between the 2 and the x is multiplication the opposite of multiplication is division so divide by 2 and you get x equals 6 on this problem I'm going to add 3x to both sides to get my x's to the right and I'm going to subtract uh, 3 from both sides to get my numbers on the left hand side. Of course you could always add 2x and add, then add the 5 to get your x's on the left and your numbers on the right but the reason I'm adding 3x to both sides is because that will make the x's positive. And if I do that on um, this problem here, if I add the 3x to both sides well the minus 3x plus 3x is 0 and the minus 2x plus 3x is just 1x on this side. Now, over here on the left-hand side, that's where I'd be subtracting, five, uh, subtracting 3 from both sides. So subtracting 3 from here will give me 0, and subtracting 3 from the minus 5 is minus 8. And that would be the answer to this pro that problem. On well, this problem, first thing is to take that negative through. So that's 2x minus 3x minus 4. And the reason it's that is because you have to think of this minus sign as distributing through the parentheses. It's similar to a minus 1 times this, the stuff that's in the parentheses there. So a minus of 3x is minus 3x, and a minus of positive 4 is minus 4. Same thing here, we have to distribute the minus 3 through the parentheses. That will give us minus 6x plus 15, because minus 3 times a minus 5, or a negative 3 times a negative 5, is a positive 15. The minus x will still stay just a minus x because it's not affected by this minus 3. The minus 3 is right outside the parentheses, means it gets multiplied times everything in the parentheses, and the minus x is not in the parentheses. Now I'm going to combine some like terms. That's my next step. Again, if there was any fractions, I would have taken care of that first by multiplying by the common denominator, or cross multiplying if possible. Next, distribute through the parentheses, which I did, just did, and next, combine like terms. 2x minus 3x is a minus x, or a minus 1x, minus 4. That's combined with the 2x and the minus 3x. On the right-hand side, I got a minus 6x and another minus x. Well, that's the same as minus 6x minus 1x, which is a minus 7x, and I also have a plus 15 on that side. Now we go to moving terms, or adding terms to, to sides to get the x's on one side and numbers on the other. Well, if I do that, if I add 7x to both sides, that will get rid of the minus 7x here. And 7x minus 1x is 6x. So really what I did is I just added 7x to both sides. And since I got my x's on the left-hand side by adding 7x to both sides, and again, 7x minus this 1x is 6x. I'm going to have to get my numbers on the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Adding 4 to the negative 4 is out there. And add 4 to the 15, and I get 19. And then finally, divide both sides by the number beside the variable that you're solving for. And I'm solving for uh, x. So dividing by 6 on both sides will cancel out the 6 on this side. On the other side, I would get 19, 6. And that would be a fine answer. Or 3 and 1 6 or if you had to give the decimal approximation to the nearest hundredth, it would be uh, 3.17, I believe, 3.17. Now, over here on uh, problem uh, D, you could do this a number of ways. What you could do is multiply by the common denominator of 20. Okay, 20 is the common, common denominator between 4 and 5. If I think of multiplying this whole thing by 20, I would say 4 goes into 20 5 times, and 5 times minus a is a minus 5a. And that equals, take the 5 into the common denominator of 20, and that goes 4 times, and 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. And how I got that again, that minus 12, let me write that down here again, is I took the minus 3, times, I'll just do asterisk for times, times the 4. Okay, let me do that again. The common denominator here between 4 and 5 is 20. 4 goes into 20 5 times, 
and 5 times minus a is a minus 5a. Okay? 5 goes into the common denominator of 20 4 times, and 4 times minus 3, well, I'll save that for the next step. Now, I want you to notice that any time you have a fraction equals a fraction, which is what we have going on right here, if you can't see this problem very well, we could always uh, make it a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, anytime you have a fraction equals a fraction, what you could do is cross multiply. Okay, this is a cross and equal sign. If you have a fraction equals a fraction, you could cross multiply. Well, 5 times minus a is a minus 5a, and 4 times negative 3 is what I have here on this side. Well, 4 times negative 3 is a minus 12. And then just finish it off by divide both sides by the number beside the variable you're solving for, which is uh, the minus 5 there. And I would get 12, a negative 12 over a negative 5. Well, two negatives when you multiply or divide make a positive. So this is the same as 12 fifths. And so 12 fifths would be a fine answer. Uh, 5 goes into 12 two times, so 2 and 2 fifths is fine, or 2.4 is a fine answer. Now these problems right here, you would have to multiply by the common denominator first. And we'll work these out in just a second. Okay, here's two new problems that we want to solve. This problem right here has fractions in it, so we'll need to multiply by the common denominator. The common denominator between 5, 3, and 2 is 30. Okay, 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, and there's nothing smaller than that that 5, 3, and 2 will go into. So I put brackets around the whole equation and a big 30 over here on the left-hand side. And I take each one of the denominators into the common denominator. 5 goes into 30 6 times. 6 times 2x is 12x. Minus 3 goes into 30 10 times. 10 times 1 is 10, and this is the same as 10x right here. When the x is written in the middle, it's the same as it being up on the top. So that would be actually minus... 10x there. Then right here we have 30 times the 1 is 30. See, so you still have a common denominator of 30 that we're multiplying through. So that 30 is also times that 1. Minus 2 goes into 30 15 times. 15 times a minus x is a minus 15x. Here we'll need to combine like terms. And if we do that, we'll get 2x equals 30 minus 15x, and next we'll need to add 15x to both sides to get 17x equals 30, and divide through by 17 on both sides, and you'll get 30 seventeenths, and 30 divided by 17 is approximately 1.76. So let me get that in here, 1.76. Again, right here, this is the tough bit. 5 goes into 30 6 times. 6 times 2x is 12x. Minus 3 goes into 30 10 times. 10 times 1 is 10, but you still have an x in there. Even if when it's written in the middle, it's still the same as it being up there in the numerator. Uh, the 30 times the 1 is 30. 2 goes into 30 15. 15 times your minus x is minus 15x that point, I combine like terms, 12x minus 10x is 2x, and then I move the minus 15x to the left by adding 15x, and I got 12x, I'm sorry, 17x equals 30, divide through by the 17, and I get 30 seventeenths. On this problem, the common denominator is 20, so I write the equation with brackets around with a big 20 here. So 5 goes into 24 times, and I'll distribute that 4 through the parentheses on the next step. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 5 is 25n. So 25n. And this is in the numerator, so I still have to multiply that by the uh, common denominator of 20. So minus 20 times that 5n plus 3. Now I'll distribute it through the parentheses. Minus 4 times the 2n is minus 8n. Minus 4 times the minus 5 is plus 20. Plus 25n equals, multiplying through the uh, parentheses, minus 20 times 5n is minus 100n and minus 20 times 3 is minus 60. At this point, combining like terms, minus 8n plus 25n is 17n plus 20 equals this minus 100n minus 60. Putting all my n's on one side, adding 100n to both sides, I get 117n, and subtracting 20 from both sides, I get a minus 80. And finally, divide both sides by the 117, and I get negative 80 over 117, or approximately negative 0.68. And that would be those problems. If you can do these, you should be able to do any uh, 
linear equation.